Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Fallout New Vegas. In the last episode we found out about this place. I need to wait for quite a while for 1am to show up. Because that is the time that the, the Colonel Man has told us that these people will be going into this tower and turning on some lights at the top of the tower. So I'm assuming that's when we're going to find them and capture them red-handed. Alright, we only have 10 seconds left to wait, I think. And then those lights will turn on, probably. Unless this is the wrong control tower. However, I doubt this is. There, there's only one tower that looks like this, and this is the biggest tower. So this has to be the control tower. I mean, it's obvious, right? Right? Okay, what time is it? It's 1 a.m. Okay, let's go. Let's go ahead and investigate the building. I didn't see anybody enter the building, which is kind of strange. Like, usually you'd expect to find somebody entering. Now, is this a terminal to open the door? Requires key. Ha! Huh, I can do a very easy lock. Okay, I've never done the hacking. But don't worry, I've done it in the other games. So let's let's try this. Um, two of five, correct? We'll just, we'll just guess these. Oh, um, hold on a second. Here, let me do some magic and reset the whole terminal. You see, in this game, I don't, I don't think there's like a time limit for like how long you get locked out afterwards. So basically, you permanently get locked out, and I don't want to get locked out of this terminal. There we go. Look at that first time. Actually, that was more like the fifth time, but hey, it's fine. We're going in now. Yes, access log. Oh. I see. Interesting. This is important, probably. You know, we'll, we'll go ahead and leave. Okay, so who has the key to this building? Or maybe it's not that building that we're looking for. But it, it clearly has to be that building. It, I mean, there's no other tower that's giant. Like a control tower. Where, where could the control tower be if it's not that building over there? So this is where we find... Nope, not that one. Where's the, where's the door? There's a back door to this place that takes us right out from the uh, the supply depot, which is one of the suspects. This is the guy who runs the supply depot. Wait, is, it, is it this building? It's gotta be this building, then. It's a supply shed. Oh, that's why there's a big thing coming off. It's one of those uh, swinging door things, like hallways. Those giant hallways they move. Okay, hello there. Yes, I'm here to interrogate you, good sir. Uh, seen anything suspicious today? Some stranger with no military ID interrogating me inside our base. If Boyd put you up to this, I'm so sick of this harassment. You tell her to stop wasting my time with this bullshit. No, I haven't seen anything suspicious. It's been business as usual. Hmm. This guy seems kind of suspicious, but I, I can't really do anything about him. Okay, well... I need to find some evidence. He has a computer over here. It's the NCR Supply Database. That's not what I'm looking for, though. There might be another computer somewhere down here that could tell us more about what he's been up to. Like, maybe a personal computer, not like some supply database. Like, what the heck? We did find those evidence logs on the door, which are quite interesting, because... Well, they kind of tell us who's been in and out of the building. Which, that building is kind of like what I'm thinking the tower is. And the corporal, colonel person, I don't remember. He told us that he saw people in the tower. Alright, um... What, oh, maybe another quest? Another quest? Need help with anything? You mean give you work? No, that'll be up to the administrator, Hilda. He's back there in his office. Between okay. Me, I don't think he ever leaves. Plenty of mercs go in to see him, though. Nice to meet you. If you need anything, I'm almost always in the lab. Alright, I guess we're gonna get another quest then. Hello there, Mr. Hildern. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Dr. Thomas Hildern, Director of Operations, OSI East. I presume you're here about Vault 22? I... Should we say yes, that's right? Uh, no, this is the first I've ever heard anything. Do we go with this one or this one? It's a hard choice. We'll, we'll go this one. Um, I'm listening. Imagine, if you will, the wasteland in bloom. Vast 
vast fields of corn that grow from seeds and produce their bounty in the space of a month. Orchards of trees, their branches weighed halfway to the ground, hung with fat, ripe oranges, a harvest that could feed a city or a nation. And all of this, all this, requiring no more than a few drops of precious water and the efforts of only a handful of human farmers. Impossible. Well, nothing is impossible. Precisely. Science has proven that truth a thousand times over. But how many wasteland savages believe it? Present company accepted, of course. The body I described to you is no idle fantasy. It exists in primitive form only a few miles from where we stand. We need only reach out and unlock its secret. For that, the OSI needs you. I believe that the inhabitants of Vault 22 unlock the secrets of vegetative growth. Plants are spilling from their gear. No one tends them. No one waters them. Yet they multiply and spread in all directions. Find the reason for this miraculous growth, and I promise you the OSI will see that you are generously compensated. Well, sounds awesome. All right, I'll do it. No need to check in with the NCR authorities. I can authorize your payment from OSI accounts. Vaults typically contain a server room on a lower level where they would have backed up their research data. A computer room, you understand? Download all the information on the central server to your clipboard, and you'll be certain to bring me any notes or samples that you find, won't you? Okay, goodbye. I will see you never again until the end of the quest, okay? You seem like a reasonably competent person. Yes, I'm competent enough to uh, infiltrate. Dr. Hilder, this really isn't any of my business, but did he give you a job? Yes, he asked me to get some data from Vault 22. You shouldn't say anything. I know that. But you're not the first person Hildern sent out to the vault. There were a lot of mercs, one after another. None of them came back. Wow. Then about a week ago, there was a scientist, Keely. She's unusual. Not the sort of person you'd expect, but she's an absolute genius. And, and he didn't mention her? Not even her name? Or any of the other mercs? Uh, it never came up doesn't bother me. I knew the danger wouldn't. I'm not trying to scare you off the job. Listen, I make a fair wage, but I'm not rich. Not by any means. Maybe my kind of money wouldn't appeal to your average merc. But I'm willing to pay you if you'll find Keeley and make sure she's safe. In right leaving her out there. No idea if she's alive or dead. Okay. Sounds like a plan. She might even be able to help you. As long as you don't speak too well of Dr. Hildern. Okay, right, goodbye. Good Maybe we should go ask the guy in charge, the Major, Major Shu or whatever his name is. We'll ask him if he can let us go into the tower. Maybe he knows. Maybe we have that dialogue option now. Hello there. Um. Do, 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 do. Who are the fiends? Oh. Nothing like addiction to swell your numbers. Psychotic, <laughs> completely unpredictable. They set up shop in Vault 3 to the west. Every day they attack our positions and my men repel them. But every day there's more of them and less of us. I sent one of my rangers after their leader to try and destabilize them. He didn't return. Hell of a thing All right. a ranger. You come to depend on them. And they come through for you so often, you forget it can happen. I'll go to Vault 3 and see if I can find your ranger. That vault is a hornet's nest. If you have second thoughts, no one would think less of you for it. But if you can get him home, it'd mean a lot. Watch for civilians, too. The fiends have been kidnapping locals. They just walk right into people's homes in the middle of the day and take them. But the man you're looking for is Bryce Anders. Anders was trying to find the leader, Motor Runner. You hear something like a chainsaw? You found Motor Runner. Put a bullet in his head. You'll have some new friends around here. Wait a second. I have the option to get a sniper rifle from here. Hold on, let me just save in case this is stealing on accident. But I don't think it is. It's not red. I can literally just t take the sniper rifle. <laughs> Nobody cares. Okay. Well, now I have a sniper rifle. Thank goodness. Oh, I haven't talked to this guy yet. Tell me what you know. Yep, I'm still here. Shit, I got nothing better to do. 
to do, right? Do, 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 do. Okay, never mind. Hey, yeah. I don't. Okay, so I don't know who we're looking for because nobody knows anything for some reason. Uh, I found Major Daughtry. I haven't talked to this guy yet. Maybe he can tell me something about this. Um... Adoptive father, yes. I was very proud when he made first recon. I know that every time I send them out, I could be sending him to his death. But if it's not me, it'll be somebody else. At least this way I get one more chance to see him. Okay, well, uh... Yeah, goodbye. Right. Maybe... This guy knows something. Oh, well, okay. How are you named and not know anything? Man, am I bored. Okay, goodbye. Catch you later. He seems quite suspicious. Oh crap, there's actually ammunition in these boxes, and I can open them. I can take the ammunition for free. Thank you, good fellas, for your kind donations. What kind of supplies do you have in mind? Okay. Business if someone hurts themselves using your products, you know, gets all kinds of unwanted attention. Interesting. Well, let's go ahead and ask him this again. You mean other than some stranger with no military ID interrogating me? Okay. Did Boyd put you up to this? I'm s no, I haven't Okay, uh basically okay, so I, I should go talk to Boyd now. Is Boyd the guy who gave us this quest? Okay, we'll go to Lieutenant Boyd now. I don't know where this guy is, because there's so many people here. Boyd is the person who we've talked to before. Okay, I just looked that up. Boyd is the person who's up there in the interrogation room. So, we haven't talked to this person yet. Uh, have you noticed anything suspicious lately? Who's missing? Anyone else missing? The man I'm more interested in is Corporal White. Interesting. Wanted to be a ranger as bad as anyone I've seen. But he also had some extracurricular activities going. Now he's gone. Like what do you do? Play football or something? That's kinda extracurricular. <laughs> no, it's obviously something suspicious that we must know about. I'll see if I can find Corporal White for you. Okay. What can you tell me about Anders? I don't know him very well myself. I seem to remember that he was the man to call on if you needed someone to get in and get out quietly. Colonel Interesting. Really the person to talk to. Tell me about the break-ins. Break-in isn't the right word. We didn't find signs of forced entry, but I've had reports of someone sneaking into the control tower at night. It's probably just a meeting spot for a steamy military base love affair kids today but it bothers me that they didn't break in it means they have an access code most soldiers around the base don't have that okay well would you be giving okay here we go willing to give me control tower access key so i can check it out sure if you want to investigate it's not like there's anything to steal perfect just a bunch of perfect equipment. if you can find out any more i'd be interested to hear it there's something about this I really don't want. Alright, here we go. And if I weren't tied up here, I'd be staking it out personally. You said there were thefts? Not the kind of things you like to see go missing. No witnesses yet. I've got my money on Sergeant Contreras, who's supposed to be in charge of distribution, a little diesel. But he's too slick to let anyone catch him doing it. We've searched his possessions a dozen times. Nothing. Okay, goodbye. Here we go, and we're going to go over to the tower. Before we end today's episode, 
Because we're at like 16 minutes right now, we've just gone like way over. Here we go, we're going in. Tell me what suspicious things have been activated and going on. We got a radio here? Interesting. Interesting stuff. Okay, well. Nobody there. Not really anybody there. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty sure there's not much here. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do next in this quest. So if you've enjoyed today's episode, please consider liking and subscribing. In the next episode, I think we'll be able to finish up this quest, hopefully, and uh, do some of the other quests I've managed to pick up. So that's, that's good. I'll see you all next time, and uh, goodbye. Oh, he's suspicious. Hold on. There's somebody sneaking into the control tower at night. Could I ask you a question? Those menacing looking troopers with guns standing on the walls up there? That's Bravo Company. My company. Since Oliver stuck me in a desk job, I hardly ever get to see them during the day. So sometimes I like to check up on them when they have night duty. Okay. But you still haven't answered my question. Is that right? No one has any business being in there after dusk. I wonder if... There's a lot of communications equipment up there. He could be using it to touch base with whoever sent him. You've already done us a lot of good, but I'm afraid to move on this myself. We tried catching this guy before, and he can always smell a trap. But he may not know about you. I need you to follow him into the tower. See okay. if you can discover his identity. Report back, and I'll have him arrested. Report back when you've got it, and I'll have him arrested. Well, that's what we're doing next episode.